All right, so real quick, we're going to do a compare and contrast between KWI and other private weld schools uh, like us. So we've done an earlier video maybe on community colleges that take a little longer to get you through a program, but there are several programs like KWI, like KWI, that do things more aggressively and quicker, right? I mean, we're going to run 40-hour work weeks, um, and, and so other weld schools do that as well. Some are 25, 30, 35 we do 40s with the option to do as many as you want. Actually, you can pull 80s at KWI if you want. It doesn't matter to us, but let's stack these up. We know that there are a lot of things that are important to you. We would challenge you as you're sitting there today uh, watching this YouTube video to do a compare and contrast. Do a T-chart and, and weigh out your options. What things are important to you? Um, as far as prioritizing, I know sometimes time is important, but if you're looking at a private school and, and, and not considering uh, you know, community college, then maybe time is, is pretty close to the same because a lot of your private schools are gonna get you in and out in somewhere to the tune of you know, four to seven, nine months, you know, less than a year anyway. Um, what about cost? For the most part, most of our, these private schools are gonna stack up about the same, pretty close. Now the idea would be then to decide what you're getting for that dollar that you're pushing across the table right there. Um, so let's start there, let's start with the program because I think that for time, um, we're gonna be pretty close. You know, so let's just say time-wise, uh, even keel, I don't, I don't know. KWI is, just so you know, we're, we're, uh, we, we call it a 24 week program, but that's 24 times 40, 960, 960 hours. It actually takes you about 26 weeks, giving holidays and that kind of stuff. Um, so six months, six months in and out from you starting your training to let's get a job on the backside. Other places are gonna be close to that. Um, I would challenge you to watch, you know, if I, if I was going to a weld school away from my hometown and they were giving me 40 hours a week, that's, that, I think that's at least decent. That's a full-time job and I got eight hours of sleep and then I got eight hours to do something else as far as like, I don't know, my laundry or eat or whatever that is. But if I'm going to a place outside of my hometown and it's less than 40, you know, if I get into 35, 30, 25, uh, I just worry about what you're doing outside of the school because you're probably getting jammed up. You're probably getting ornery. Um, and I, and I, like, I like a place, if I'm gonna train, I wanna lock in. If I come to weld school, I wanna be thinking about welding and, and little to any, anything else. At KWI, you know, we're gonna be uh, running first shift from six to two, from second from two to 10, third from 10 to 6 a.m. You can pull additional time. All you have to do is let your, uh, your, your shift instructor know, hey, I'm gonna stay over on second or I'm gonna come in early on third. Um, and then you clear that with that shift supervisor. So hey, second shift foreman, uh, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna stay and pull some extra time. So it's possible. We have guys that pull 10, 12, 16 hour days, all right? And I love those types of individuals. Those are driven, work ethic type. If it was me um, and I wasn't sure if, you know, I had never tested myself. Uh, I, I hadn't seen how I stacked up against those long industry days. And I might go to an outage that works 712s for two or three months straight. Then I would wanna challenge myself. I would want to pull a couple weeks of 16s and get myself dog tired just to see how I could, how I could handle it. Because I would much rather know or much rather look uh, weak and tired at, at school anyway than I would when I'm pulling down checks and my name is on the line. Anyway, and I think cost wise, I think you're going to find for the most part, most of these private schools, give or take, are going to be around the same. You know, none of us are going to be free like some of your community colleges. We're all going to cost something. So then, then you go to where, where are we going to compare? For the most part, uh, I think a lot of us are going to have great experienced uh, instructors. I, I really do. So I think that would probably be close, close to equal. I will tell you that at K KWI, we offer and, and we, we uh, uh, incentivize our instructors to take jobs. So you're not going to have them there the entire time possibly. Um, so, so if there's a spring or fall outage or they've got a summer job or a gig, we encourage our instructors to do that for a couple reasons. One, they get back on their tools and, and, and they brush up and, and they you know, get tried and, and uh, they get looked out by their QC. So they, they remember what that's like. In addition, uh, they always bring something back from industry. So they're fresh off their tools. Uh, they haven't forgotten uh, what, what right looks like or what the industry is like. Um, I think... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how that works. Again, I would compare, see where you're at. Uh, I would want to know if, if the instructor I've got 
it, you know, if he's teaching me pipe, he better be, he better be a certified pipe welder. He, he should come off some pipe jobs. I want to hear that he's been in nuclear power plants, refineries, paper mills. Uh, you know, he's been on the road. Like, what has he done? I would want to know what the experience level was on those instructors. Um, and I think a lot of programs will be close, you know. Um, so, so where are we going to go with uh, location-wise? Most of, most of these weld schools, you know, the, the good ones probably aren't in your hometown. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe you're fortunate. Maybe you live in... Flemingsburg, Kentucky. But a lot of us, a lot of us don't. Um, so location probably won't be a, a, something that you whittle down for on these. If you're, if you're considering a private school, uh, then what it's probably going to boil down to is that program. You know, what, what are they offering me for uh, that, that money? So what that's going to boil down to is, is what do I get to do when I get there? So at KWI, during your combo pipe program there, for that 26 weeks, that 40 hours a week, uh, 960 hours total, or as much as you want, you can pull 10s, 12s, 16s, um, you're gonna, we are an accredited testing facility with the American Welding Society. And that should mean something. That, that, an industry that, that packs a punch. You know, so the American Welding Society has, has came to KWI. Um, they have been through you know, our QC book. Uh, they've vetted our WPSs. They have watched our CWIs give tests. And, and we are uh, uh, you know, tried and, and, and true. Uh, we have met their standards and, and, are, and are good, ready to go. Other schools are going to say, hey, we don't give certs because you don't need them. And, and that sounds cool. Uh, and in some cases, it's true. You will have to retest in industry. But I guess if, if given the option, if I'm going to a good school and, and I'm paying good money uh, and you've got good instructors, then, then why not give me my certifications? Why not? Why not give me an AWS CW card? I guess that's what I would ask uh, because I think, and I could be spitballing here and I apologize, but the problem with giving the CW card, we don't consider it a problem at all, but the problem is it's expensive. You've got to be, again, an accredited testing facility, which is a process and a money investment on, on KBI's behalf. You also have to have CWIs, which is not cheap. You know, they're, they cost a little more than just a regular welder coming off the road. Um, so to keep those guys in house costs more. Um, and then it costs to run that paperwork. Like every time you add something to your CW card, that is a fee that somebody has to pay. Now at KWI, we're paying that for you. So if you're going to a school that costs close to KWI and you're getting no certs versus KWI giving you certs, then again, some of KWI's tuition, you know, some of that money, KWI is putting back in your wallet in the form of certifications. So with our combo pipe program, you're getting six AWS certs on that CW card with the option, if you complete our program in less than 26 weeks, you can continue to certify on, you, know, you can do ink and nail, you can do chrome, you know, we've got a heat treat machine, you can do duplex, you can do branch and bell hole. We've actually got somewhere to the tune of 17 WPSs I don't, that you can continue to get certifications. So why don't these other weld schools do that? I, I don't know. Ask them. I think they're going to tell you this, you don't need certs in industry. The job is going to make you retest. Well, that's true. But put yourself in the HR seat. If you're trying to line up, you, you know, your boss came to you, uh, you know, that weld boss came and said, hey, HR, make some phone calls, post on Indeed, whatever it is. I, I need 20 welders. Well, do you want to have to call 100 guys? Because you have no idea. All you have is this resume and, and, and you're just calling guys in hoping they can pass. Well, I'm telling you, if, you, if you're calling guys that, that have uh, the CW card, means they were tested at an ATF um, in front of CWIs, uh, you know, in, in partnership with the American Welding Society, you know, under their umbrella, you're probably having a much better batting average as far as these, these welders can pass your, your test. So again, I would go back to, or, you know, and, and why don't they offer any of these extras? You know, a lot of, a lot of places won't give you Super Duplex or Inconel or Chrome uh, because they cost a lot of money and or maybe their instructors don't have that experience. So they too can't weld out those specialty alloys. Not sure what the reason is. What I'm saying is stack it up. Let's see this program. At the American Welding Society, we follow the NCCER, National Center for Construction, Education and Research Curriculum. And that is very robust. It's a nationwide uh, card that, that the big companies will scan, you know, so, so floor, uh, PCL, I, I, name some big companies. If you check your IPR, the Industrial Projects Report, a lot of these big companies that advertise will put that NCCER logo um, on their ad. And that is, you know, a, a nod to that they like the NCCER curriculum because they can scan your card and they can see what you've been trained to do. Uh, so it, we follow that. Not sure what other schools do 
or, or why they don't. We have two master trainers at the Kentucky Welding Institute, and all of our instructors are craft instructors with the NCCER. So they have also been trained to teach. Uh, you know, we have, there's a lot of good welders that can't translate what it is they do um, to, to someone else watching. Our instructors have been trained to teach uh, and with the NCCER. We also do the NCCCO. Uh, so basically, a couple years back uh, on, on the hill there, they, they made a new rule. It said, hey, crane operators have to be certified. And Kentucky Welding Institute is, is betting, and we've actually seen some of it come to fruition, that certified crane operators probably need to be paired up with certified signal persons and certified riggers. So how much more employable are you if you're coming out of your weld school as not only a guy who can, who can fit and weld the pipe, but you can signal the crane operator to put it into position, you know? And you can help rig that. Go grab me a 5-8 shack on a web sling. You understand this. You are much more valuable to your employer if you have these extra credentials. Why don't the other weld schools do this? I don't know. Maybe you'll find one that does. Check them out. We encourage you to do so. We're going to give you ASHI, CPR, and first aid. Uh, so you'll be able to, you know, AED and, and, and uh, do your compressions on a chest, help people out. You're going to be able to do OSHA. You have an OSHA 30 and an MSHA 24. Um, that just lets those employers know that you know, you know your safety standards uh, and that you're, you're going to do what's right on the job. You know, you've been trained to 1926 um, and the MSHA standards. We're also going to give you a TWIC card and a basic plus. Now, why is that important? For the most part, TWIC, it's just a, a nationwide background check. We got some haters on social media that say you don't need a TWIC card, that's goofy, what even is that? Well, they've never been in a refinery, I guess, because for the most part, that's, you know, they're going to need a, a TWIC card for that. Basic plus the same way. Here's how we like to think of it. Sometimes you'll see jobs posted, big companies say, hey, listen, we, we, you know, 36 and 100 or 42 and 135, job coming up, man it up, TWIC card required, basic plus card required. If you don't have that, now you're scrambling. I mean, it, it cuts you right out of being able to apply for that job. A Kentucky Welding Institute graduate doesn't have to worry about that. They've got both those on their resume. Right, right away, they can put in on that job and, and see what happens. Um, so again, maybe, maybe you don't need it. Uh, but if we cost the same up top, because it does cost, the KBI pays this for you, KBI pays this for you, KBI teaches and pays, teaches and pays, teaches and pays, all this is going back into credentials, um, and that's just not your car. I mean, it, it costs our instructors to keep up their certifications with these different entities so that we can test and certify you to these, to these items here. And we also do a CCS, um, and a lot of schools don't do that. You know, that's a, a toxicology card. We will drug test you. On day one, we're going to mouth swab you. Uh, we're going to have you do a urinalysis in months somewhere between two, three, and four. And then we're going to pull hair on you months five and six, somewhere to that tune. You will be ran through the gambit of drug tests at the Kentucky Welding Institute. And what we hope is that by telling you this, right away, if you're someone who dabbles in that lifestyle, you're like, well, I'm not going there. That's great. We agree. You, you should not come to Kentucky Welding Institute. Um, go to one of these other schools who's, who's not going to test you. And you can have that side life for whatever reason. Um, but good luck getting into industry uh, when you will have to drug test. So we, we consider it our do, just doing our due diligence. We want our guys to be, you know, when, when we put our name on somebody uh, and that company is going to hire them, uh, of course we want them to pass the, the well test. But even so, you know, even more so, we don't want to be embarrassed by them not passing the drug test. Uh, we think that's a reflection on our brand uh, as far as the product we're pushing out, these, these graduates. Um, so again, and, and if you don't do drugs, if you're not about that life, then I think KWI sounds pretty attractive to you because you, you probably went to a high school where there was a bunch of, you know, that crowd, um, the, the riffraff, the, the, the ignorance, whatever that is, you know, not focused on themselves with goals and a future and, 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 and leaning forward. Um, we've called that, you know, you're, you're not going to have, you know, iron sharpens iron. So if you want to come to a school where people are focused uh, and, they, and they have a plan and, and the person to the left or right of you is, is keeping you honest, you know, keeping you leaning forward and, and pushing hard, then, then maybe we're the weld school for you. I'm not sure. You want to, you want to check that out. Um, all right, so that's the program. The program stacks, we, we think, pretty heavy in our favor. Don't know. Maybe, maybe nothing I mentioned means anything to you. That's, that's fine with us, too. Again, you need to find a school that, that uh, fits your values, your, your morals, uh, you know, your, your vision for the future. Um, it, it should be a place where you naturally can, can train and thrive. Um, our instructors we've talked about, let's go to, to job placement. Check this out. Um, we are accredited. So, so ASSET, 
and ACCSC, you know, nationally we are accredited, which means we are now held to a, you know, a higher standard. That's how we can take the, the, the FAFSA money um, and the Pell Grants. You know, so so uh, in doing that, we also have to be, uh, you know, any statement we say, you know, whatever we, we tell you has to be true and, and backed up. Um, so as I stand here today, this video, and again, it's going to be dated at some point, so check how long ago this was, but as we stand today, 97% job placement in the last six months. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's 12, in the last year. And we've had 100% job placement in the last six months. And that uh, we, we're averaging $30 per hour uh, for those guys that are, that are popping out. Now, I don't know what these other places are. I would, I would highly, in my opinion, it wouldn't matter much how much I was paying if it meant that I, could, that I was gonna be employed and, and what I was making. Because if, if in my mind I can do the math and pay off that, that school debt, um, and, then, and then be dollars ahead, I'm good. That's called return on investment. So I would want to leverage my money and decide what the ROI was. If, if you don't know what these numbers are for these other places, you, you dang sure want to. And then I would ask to see that, you know, in, in writing, in paper, you know, who, who is backing that up? Because a lot of schools aren't accredited, uh, so they're not held to that standard. Essentially, they can, you know, uh, you know Used car salesman, I guess, or horse trader. That's maybe that's a term we use around here. Sorry if you're a horse trader, uh, but you know what I mean. Um, so, so is it legit? KBI is also going to offer you, and a lot of schools do this, so this might not be anything that's going to tip the scale. Lifetime job placement uh, and, 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 and brush up. And I think anymore, a lot of places will do that as well. What that means is at KWI, once you graduate, you can call back and, uh, you know, after that first year and every year after, you can get two weeks of free brush up. So you've been on a stainless job for a while now and you're going to be on a carbon job. You want to come back and run some carbon roots to get, get your skills back up before you take that next weld test. You can do that at the Kentucky Welding Institute. But I think a lot of other schools are doing that. So they may not separate us uh, all too much. Uh, I will say that, uh, you know, the Kentucky Welding Institute, as far as how we're geared, um, you know, we're not, we're not big and flashy. We, we, we encourage our grads to, to try to live small, to be more conservative. You know, we're not going to be the school that tells you that you need to buy uh, the latest gear and the biggest truck um, and that you need to be uh, hitting the steakhouses every night on the job. We would like to see our individuals for that first three to five years live pretty lean. Uh, start their Roth IRA. You know, we're a big personal finance type of school. Matter of fact, we'll be offering that um, very soon. So I don't know when you're watching this video, but that might already be in our package as far as a personal finance class for our, for our students, because we see that as, as a big problem in America right now is, you know, people who can't manage their money. It doesn't really matter how much you make. If, if you're spending more than you make, you're going to be upside down. So we, we really push for individuals to, to think about their future goals. You know, the toys you want now, um, think about this. I don't know where you're at in life right now, but, but everybody can remember when they were eight or 10 or, or, or 12 and the types of toys you thought were important then. You know, I don't know what that was for you. But when you turned 16, 18, 22, they were different toys all of a sudden. You know, so, it, so what you think is important or what you need, need, need right now probably isn't what's going to set you up best for life, you know, you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. Um, so we really talk to our grads about, you know, how to use credit cards, um, uh, insurance, uh, uh, property, assets, um, and, and again, how to, how to think long term. We really encourage uh, a Roth IRA and letting that compound interest on, the, on a good time horizon work for you. Uh, we truly believe that, that uh, the return on investment is that KWI in six months, can, can launch you into a career that makes you a, a good living. And if managed correctly, you, you can be an everyday millionaire. Just, just like they say, you know, just like Dave Ramsey says, you could be an everyday millionaire. You just got to manage your money. And so that's big for us. We're, we're not about the games and the gimmicks. Um, we're not about, uh, uh, you know, dancing and goofing. Um, we truly, truly want you guys to be successful in life um, and, and be able to provide for your future families. Uh, so check us out. We think it's important. Definitely compare and contrast. I love a T-chart. I like to see things neck and neck. Uh, weigh your options. If you think we're on your radar, give us a call. Come take a tour. Um, see if we're a good fit for you. Uh, but, but that's it right there as far as stacking them up. Hope you do your research. Let us know. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to that. And also check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.